welcome back to Movie Review Mom. So normally I review movies, right? But I recently started doing trailer reactions, which I think is super fun. And some of you have said that that's how you watch trailers is with me. And I love hearing that. So today I invite you to watch the new trailer with me for the movie called Six Minutes to midnight. The movie is rated PG-13. It's an hour and 39 minutes. And the release date has been pushed back over and over and over again. As of today, it is supposed to be released March 26th, 2021. So we'll see if that actually happens. And from what I understand, it's probably going to go straight to video on demand. We'll see, like I said, everything keeps changing. So in a quick nutshell about this movie, uh, I'll give you some scoop and then we'll watch the trailer together. So the movie takes place in 1939 in England where some influential families from Nazi Germany have sent their daughters to a type of finishing school. So the movie is directed by Andy Goddard and he also helped write it with the help of Eddie Izzard and Kellen Jones. Eddie Izzard, in fact, plays the role of Thomas Miller in the movie. So I always think that's fun when they insert themselves. If I were going to write a movie, I would definitely write myself in it. <laughs> or I would put myself a, as a cameo in the movie. And I love all of the Avenger movies where Stan Lee always had a little cameo moment. I always looked forward to those in the movies. Of course, we miss him tremendously. Um, this film is actually based on a true story about Augusta Victoria College in England, named after the last Empress of Germany. It opened in 1932 and then closed in 1939 after the invasion of Poland by Germany starting World War II. So the title of the movie refers to the infamous Doomsday Clock, Six Minutes to Midnight, which symbolically marks the end of the human race. So it was actually created by scientists in 1947, two years after the end of the war, warning mankind to treat the planet and each other much better. The numbers 1154 actually stand for six minutes to midnight and were used in the telephone code to verify a British spy's credibility in the movie. All right, so isn't it amazing that it's been almost 80 years since World War II began, and yet we're still learning all of these amazing new stories about what happened during that time period. All right, so let's watch the trailer. Ready? Is this your first visit to Bexhill? Yes, it is. Harry Potter. Judy Dench. That wasn't a compliment. There's been an alliance between England and Germany, yeah, for many years. What sort of English woman would accept a post teaching Herr Hitler's League of German Girls? <laughs> Those girls really look German, don't they? Part of his Deutsch. Do not like surprises. <laughs> They are the daughters of the Nazi High Command. As soon as there's movement, we'll take the school. England can be an unforgiving place if you happen to be German. It often be hard to tell who someone really is. Who is good and who is bad. I have a list of Nazi conspirators. It's English traitors. This country is at war with Germany. Jamie can't afford the girls to be captured. Tell me what's wrong if you haven't been compromised. Good spy thriller. I have to stop this. My girls are not the enemy. Look, Joe, they're not good. Oh, that looks good. Uh, I love Judy Dent. 
Did you know that Judy Dench is 86 years old and she's still pumping out movies? That's amazing. I think she's perfectly cast uh, as the British school marm. I guess you could call her. It looks like she's in charge of this school. Anyway, she looks perfect. And I love that you don't know who are the good guys and who are the bad guys in this movie, or at least in the trailer and probably in the movie as well that you don't always know. And I love that these German schoolgirls would be inherently innocent. They're just young girls, you know, but are they spies too? We'll find out in the movie. Uh, it looks like there's some beautiful English countryside, maybe Wales. I'm not sure how far they go into the countryside, um, but I always love traveling when I get to go to watch movies. I feel like I've been there and so that's fun. And I love learning history. So obviously these are fictional characters, but based on a real school and a real time period and some events that probably really did unfold. So I think that's really cool. I think it's got some great potential. I'm giving the trailer an A because it's intriguing and it makes me want to watch the movie. You know, normally when you go to movie theaters and you see that type of a movie, you look around and it's filled with a bunch of boomers. You know, we're the ones that are, I say we, Technically, I am not a boomer. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you look around and it's mostly older people. But I think that young people should watch movies like this to learn about history, to see if history is repeating itself. And some say here in America, it is. So anyway, just throw that out there. All right. I'm hoping that this movie comes to video on demand soon. I will give you a movie review before it comes out, give you the full scoop to let you know if it's worth your time and money to watch it. And uh, that's what I do. That's my goal is to help you save time and money. All right. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. Just liking this little video or subscribing, writing comments. Those are free ways to offer support. And I especially appreciate those of you who are going over to Patreon to support me there too. All right. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.